Okay, we start. Start at Sif Hay. Look the machaber. Kol hayamim. Where we have started Sif Hay. Kol hayamim. Kol hayamim. Yesh dem din mayom. All yamen have a din of a well. You see, remember, remember there's two, two halachas. There's a din of well water, then a well. Well is betar, even the bezachlam, even though it's running. And then there's a din of rainwater, must be standing water. So what about the ocean? What, what halacha does the ocean have? You know, the ocean is the ocean of well water, because also, remember, you had another nafkamina, kalim, if, you, if it's well water, you don't need a bomb so. You don't need for a so if it's well water. But if it's uh, rain water, you do need a bomb so. So the question is, what is a yam? Does that mean if you have a well that's less than 40? Yeah, the water, the water's running and it came in this, the stream and over this place where there's water is less than 40 so. Okay. So well... If, uh, so practically, doesn't someone have to be able to toggle it? So yeah. not, not the person, we're talking about a keli. A keli oh, keli, oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. Is kol hayamim again? Yesh dem demayim the tar b'schila to make it uh, it works even though running. This, this you know they always one of the things you see. I remember last week, I, two weeks ago, I explained they would they would try to have sometimes uh, water, ocean water, these things because it, even though it runs, it's not a chasdon. One of the hardships that we're going to learn later building mikvus was what was so difficult building mikvus. Often the water seeps. That's one of the tricks they f- figure out to make sure there's no seepage, you say in English? Yeah. So, uh, so the kids, uh, uh, the ocean is okay. Hilkach, gal, shenitlish marayam, a gal that was uh, uh, a wave that uh, was ripped away from the yam. You know, they sometimes have this, it's called a, a breaker, you know. The way. I think Mother talks a lot about that. You know, a whole wave comes. Um, it helps the tefillah. That means that because even though it's running water, but it helps. It's also a tefillah. You know, it's coming. The whole uh, uh, gal is coming, and you took if you took the kale and you threw up in the gal. He says, "I'm gone." Uh, even though this Memsu, he was toivel somehow. She's with a kelim Memsu, a gal. She always a kippa. The old Salem Tvila. It's a machoikus. It's a gemara. So somebody showing him learn it's a draisa. It's a gemara chagiga, and the somebody showing him learn this is a draisa because it has to be on the ground. Mayon a mikvah of mayon is always on the ground. The bringer is sefri. There's a free learns that a mikveh and a well must be grounded. But if water is flying in the air, it doesn't help. It's an interesting thing. It says memsu. So everyone asks, why do you need memsu? If it has a din, right. But a kalim doesn't need memsu. That's a kasha that a shach and everyone asks. This is a famous kasha. It says memsu. No, no, no. So we wouldn't assume it needs Mamsu. So all everyone asks, and the answer is, well, the answer is that a gal is not, but all, uh, doesn't have the dinam of Mamash Mayon. There's other things. Lamashim. A Metsoyde cannot use the ocean. A Metsoyde, which it needs, and a Zav reads in Mayon, is not going to be good, the ocean. It's got certain things that has it in Mayon, but not everything. You know, Mayon, it's now called Mayon Chaim. That's what it's clear. A metzoyde cannot use it, and cannot use it for a for potter. But I yeah, need to use it. So the chiddush is that it's forty su, even though it's running water. Sure. Yeah, but at Chabad Kalim, everyone agrees you don't need. Everyone agrees Kalim doesn't need. A waterfall. It depends what the. Oh, that's a good. That's a, that's very good. A waterfall. Um, Yes, a waterfall is connected the whole time, correct? It's connected the whole time. So you're standing on the waterfall. If you say the waterfall comes from, from Mayan, then it's not a problem. 
But if it's a waterfall, we're running from one lake to another lake. I think one. I think who's from Toronto? Who's also from Toronto? Isn't the isn't the the Niagara Falls next to Toronto or something? Yeah. So Niagara Falls is not really the, a mine water. It's the Great Lakes moving from one lake to another lake, right? I don't know the map. I remember the map. Yeah. Right? It's just it's just the, it, the you know there's the Great Lakes. I like Lake Erie. I forgot which lake it is up there. And it's moving from one spot to another spot. It's not like a, so that a lake has to be. Uh, that's a famous question. A lake is not a yam. Yeah, but it's grounded. That's what Bob is saying. If it's grounded, you know, I, you know, the truth is, the truth is, and, I, and then, uh, let me think this through. What you're saying, you know, it, they didn't. Uh, see, let, let me explain something. We know that the Great Lakes is not salt water; it's a lake. You know, it's if you ever went to the Great Lakes, it's it looks like the ocean. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. But it looks like the ocean. Yeah. The only Nafkim you could see right away, it's not salty. It's just about it. It's fresh water. It's not salty. That's that's really, But if you go on it, it's mamish waves like the ocean. You know. So a chazal said kalayamim. That will be included too. You know, we happen to know scientifically for other reasons that it's not. Uh, but we would say it's, uh, it's so. The Niagara Falls will be good water. You can travel on it. It's connected the top to the bottom. If a guy, you know, always interesting people. I think used to roll down. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> they always one of those who want to. Oh, why is salt not coming? It's not Kanat, I'm saying not. I'm saying not. It says Kalayamim, and probably the, uh, the Great Lakes is called Ayam. Well, not to say that a, a Nohar can be a mine. That's what we were learning a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, because the Nohar be, because, because it's coming from May Mayan. From May Mayan. But the Great Lake is a Yam. So it's Matar Bezochna. That's what we're learning now. I didn't think about it. This is a very good way to point it out. So you have a waterfall coming from, from the Great Lakes. Since the Great Lakes is called the Yam, so you betar b'zachla, so you stand underneath it, um, any of these great uh, falls, and it'll be. So some of the falls are not a problem because it probably starts from Mayan, but usually the famous big falls is, I think, is just. Uh, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't know all these the details, all the falls, but. Okay. Well, we're going to soon see. They have such things. Not the fifth floor, they have them the second floor. Uh, they, we'll soon see. You can't have them on the fifth floor nowadays. We'll soon see exactly. Why can't you have them on the fifth floor? We'll learn it soon. Okay. We'll get it soon. Okay. Zuk de Machabe. Now comes a very important Machabe. Tzurich, Shereyabum su Shemikve betocha Keli. You cannot be in a Keli de Boisai. Shein Tovlen Bekelem. Now, that means a, 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 someone, I remember someone asked over here, Jacuzzi, no matter how big the keli is and how you made the keli, a keli is spusel menatoira to toivo. Now, even though it's not the Kabbal timber, we have a cloud, the keli that's very big is not the Kabbal timber. It's nothing to do with Kabbal, Kabbal timber. It's a keli, a mamela, you cannot be toivo. You can only be toivo in the ground. And every, oh, that we're going to learn how we matla keli, but everyone agrees to this, and everyone agrees it's a dreiser. I'm going to we'll soon see why I'm making such a fuss, it's a dreiser. Because we have very, this is the problem of building now on our mikvahs, to make sure it doesn't have a shem keli. But a keli is surely possible, no matter how big. That's why a guy wants a table and a bathtub. It's surely possible. You know what I mean? That, uh, any, any of this. Uh, for a woman. If a man doesn't have a keli. You know, but man, even a man traveling is only, he has to, it, it, it could be my shuva, but everyone agrees he cannot travel in the keli. In the, in the keli. Also, the time swimming pool. Well, the, well, we'll see if the, well, we'll see if the swimming pool, because the swimming pool is, uh, you can pick the whole swimming pool up. That's a problem, that's a keli. That's a keli, that's why you can't travel in the swimming pool. So only because what man, we say maybe the hole will soon, I'll get to that in a minute, they make a hole in it, and maybe the hole which the water comes out, some hole that will be replicated. The Gabonushan, we don't accept that. We don't accept that. See, a swimming pool, why is it not good? Because if you could pick up the whole swimming pool, it's a keli. Well, let's pick it up. You pick up a pool, it's in the ground. Yeah, but it, it, they don't, you know how they make a pool? Dig a hole. The yeah, that everyone. They have a shell. They bring shells. Sometimes the shell does pop out of the, out of the ground. It happens. 
It's a shell. You ever saw it? That means they make a hole and they put in these huge shells. So they cement it, no? Then they glue it to the, the no, that's cement. Today they do other things. They demand, I asked the builder, the, today the city and LA demands that you should seal it very, very well. If they have a seal, the water shouldn't seep in because the water does seep through the, the underneath it, you need a... a but this Mikva and Roberts is for sure, you're going to a cave. Going to a caddy mount. Okay, that's what it is. It's literally a, like a bottle. Like I, 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 I took a picture of it actually. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, so it's great. Just, it's just it's connected. They were machap to the ground. But they have they have like a, a, a separate boiler with the rainwater and everything in there. Inside it? No, I'll oh. show you. It's attached to another See, boiler. That, you have to come. Come that, that's how you get into it. And that that's the mikveh itself. And I think that that goes to the bore, which is um, this this thing right here. And I think that's I think that's the bore. Yeah. I'll try and get you better pictures. Yeah, I can't tell from the picture. Um, it was it's it's, a, it's connected to the bar. What is it? There's no bar. Everything is above the ground. The whole thing is above the ground. Whole thing is above. Separate, quote unquote, like a boiler that has supposedly rainwater. Yeah, but it is also a big cable that was connected to the Yeah, ground. but it all seems like, like, like a. They, they understood there that if you connect it to the ground, it's, that alone is remarkable to You need two things. We're going to learn. They made it for, for the cable. For my. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. So I, I think. One second. If a man is really going to the mix, if he's going to a cable, there's nothing worse. Yeah, that's so clear. Cable is worse. It's not a regulation, Kaylee. It looks like they somehow built this thing because it's vertical. I mean, you have to climb up. It's a big, it's a big water. So, okay, we're going to soon see uh, maybe what they did. We, you know, we, I'll take a look, uh, we'll speak about later how, you know, le- next Sib Zion, we're going to see how you're about like Kelly. But I want to I tell you what happened in this Sib. You know, the tour says uh, this, the, uh, this Sib caused an enormous, enormous problem. Let me explain. The Torah in this sermon doesn't, the Bishos and Chaba doesn't bring it down. It's a dig in later. The Torah seems to say, if I have a cave, you can't throw it in the keli, but if I took something, I put it onto the ground, and I dug a keli from it, the Moshe, I took a big, I say clots in English? Uh, 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 a big no. bean. A big bean. A big, big bean. I put it on the ground. And I dug a huge tub out of a bathtub out of it. So it's called Kavoi Ilesov Chokikoi. You understand what it means? That it means uh, the, the Gemara talks about having a Kaili. Uh, uh, it was a Kaili Sov Kavoi. It was Chokikoi Ilesov Kavoi. It means I had a huge piece of wood and I, I carved out a bathtub. I have a bathtub now. You, you mongus. And I put it into the ground. Everyone holds no good. The Gemara talks about I have a huge piece of wood. And I attach it to the ground, and then I'm chaykik. So now it, 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 it was kavoi, it's called, I attached it to the ground, this big, big uh, piece of wood. I carved it out, now it became a keli. It became when it was already connected. When it's connected. So the Gemara comes out in the Sechtes Boba Basra, the Gemara says, if it's the Geo the Raisa, you have to go to Chumra. If it's the Rabbana, you go to Kula. The Gemara talks about other things. So, Esther Nidibihida. And the Kivega, two Gidoy Lador, they made such a fuss that they, that's how the times of Kivega and of Nodibihida, they would take huge wood, such a type of wood, and they would carve, attach it to the gun and carve out the mikvah. And they would die because the Lushan Tor is mashma that way. Out of so, wood? Out of wood. That's what they made that. But have a, oh, they used to make it, they used to make it from cement, you know, from taking out of the boulders from the thing and carve it out. You know that, in, uh, 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 by the way, in this man, this, uh, uh, Mana Mishnah, they, uh, there's a name in English how it's called, they used to bury people in, in a box. Oh, Ma- sarcophagus. Yeah, but how's it, the English word that's called? Uh, Asikos. Asikos. How's it called? Asikos. Asikos, something like that's yeah. called. I, I, that, it, you know what it was? It was limestone. They carved it out. They put the mess into it, covered it, and they put it into the wall. The yeah, Tanua, Kevin Hill. Like the mausoleum. No, no, well, yeah, it wasn't. It, it was put into the ground. They put it with the archaeology. They got up there. We said these are the Mason. This Man Hamishna. Yeah. There was no that was Man Hamishna. Do you so? The, the times of Noidi Behuda and the Chassam Soifer. Those day, days, 
and the Rav, people were making mikvahs this way, either from wood or from, you know, from limestone, they would carve it out. So if you carve it out and then you attach it, then it's not good. But if it's attached and carve it, it is good. So the Nadibida made such a fuss. Against it. Against it. And Reb Kivagin. There's two Gedoyla Ador, which uh, in Alocha, we, uh, even the Tzemach Tzedek says, I have a hard time arguing with the Nadibida. And this is what he talks about. And the Nadibida was incredibly big. So, but after Biken comes to Chzim Seifer, and you have to know the whole, it's a complicated city. And he says a Teretz. I don't know if you heard, there was a safer called the Beis Ephraim. You know, there's a safer called the Ephraim Zalma Gulias. We had a Dachsamir Talmud from the Chais, I think. He was a Guan Oilam. And he also wrote a Tshuva. And the safer writes that if you look in his Tshuva, even he explains it better than I could explain it. He writes in the Tshuva of the safer. Anyway, so they answer that difficult Sukhya. They have an answer. And they say the Tut is a Dik. And remember, but Lamasa, even though the Chsum Seifer held that you could, we but we don't do it. Even the Hungarians don't do it. And even, even we, in Hilchas Mekvuis, every Chumra, we don't like to publicize it, but we do every Chumra that could be done. So what happened? So when they started to build with cement, and with, with what's the name, they put the cement, they put it in metal, there's a name for it, I forgot what it's Robar. called. Robar, the bars. The bars, there's a name for the Shtasha bars. So it, why did they put bars into cement? I'm not a no, builder, so we used to have a build over here. It, it, it holds it better, it doesn't crack. It's called rebar. 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 And, and what, hell, what it does, it makes it, it, it doesn't let it crack. So it means many, the, one of the big problems with Kvus is it cracks after Masonin. Here in LA, especially they need it this way because of the earthquakes. So it, 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 the problem with this is you can literally pick up the entire thing from the ground. So it's a KV. So it's a KV. Yeah. So this was a big tumult after World War II when they were building mikvahs, the Satma Rebbe, and I think that the Rebbe Zalman Shimon was also a road at Shuvah. Not, it was another Rav in Chabad, not the Rebbe Zalman Shimon, the Tahoris Mayim, Tuchinsky? Telushkin. And he, he, was, he, he has a whole Shuvah about it. I remember seeing many, many years ago about this uh, after the war, yes or not. What is the question? The question was, since after it's done, you can pick it up, so it's a keli. So the only answer they gave, it's not a keli. Keli means that, uh, 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 the keli means I have a big, big thing, and I carve it out, now it's a keli. But you know, you're pouring cement, it never was, a, 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 it never was anything, it was just, it wasn't, a, it, See, when I have a big tub of this limestone, so I carved it out, now you have a big limestone that has a tub inside. Here, it, uh, cement that's loose, that's wet, is nothing. So it became, whatever it is, it's called building. See, they used to make a make, how they used to make a make? They used to make a hole in the ground and they put rocks with cement, whatever cement they had. That's what they used to imagine. Those are the makers used to be, used to be. So they held that by pouring cement, it's not called it's a keli because it comes, you know, it's a raw material which you're pouring. In Mamela, it's okay. That's the, how they do it. If you were to pour it to pull it out later, then you'll be creating a keli later. Maybe later, yes. So why can't you say the same for today's pool? They pour cement. It doesn't work that They don't pour cement. They come with the. Uh, depends on how fancy the pool Yeah, yeah. There are very fancy yeah, pools where it's mamish. Yeah, that's what it is. We bar and cement. And then they seal it. So that's how they do it? That's how they do it. Well, there's two types. There's two types. There's two types. Big tub. No. There's the type. You made a pool in your backyard? Dig, rebar, and then cement poured, and then they seal up. Okay. That's not for, that's for sure. Yeah, the only you problem. It seals on top of the cement. That's the yeah. If, if they made cement, you mean? It's cement. And, 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 and what is the walls made of? Cement. Or you have a cement uh, pool. No, and then they put tiles. Then the tile, and then on top. No, then they put tiles, and then, then, then the seal. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. But but the, the only question is, how how does the water come out? How do you how do you how do you uh, uh, leave the water out? What? It's a filter. It's a pump. The outside. It's not. It's not. It's not in the pool. It's not in the pool. On top of the pool, you mean? No, it's on the ground. You know, how, do you, how do you pump out the water from the pool? There's a drain. Keep There's a drain. 
But there is a drain. So, well, that's a, that's a big question. The drain is a keli. That we'll learn later. A whole seep about this later. The way they make so far it's good. The problem is the drain. What if it's off? Well, that's, that doesn't change because the, the water goes to the drain and the drain is a keli. That's why all the mikvahs, we don't have a drain in the mikvah. You notice all the mikvahs have a pipe, pipe goes and pull out the, the water. Mm -hmm. Because if, the, if everything comes to a drain and that drain is a keli, we consider the, the, whole, thing the whole thing is a keli. That's a whole seat. Uh, we can't learn everything at once, so we'll get to it later. You follow? Because my sister, Olesh, and my brother in law, they had made a pool and there is no drain. It works a whole different system. It works like, come out like a mikvah, the whole different thing that works. I don't know why they made this one. Okay. Okay, so this, I just want to say, this was a, this machaber over here was a big, big how to make the mikuas nowadays. So what the said. And this, because it's a keli, and what makes it a keli, but everyone did agree that if you could pick the whole thing up, it might be a problem with a keli. But the others, who many of the chazanish and others held, and held out that since that even though since you're pouring cement and that's not called the keli, that is called building. The maisa, the art, the that's, what you, do that's what you do today. That's what you do exactly today. You pour cement and they pour it with the make it with the metals. And it's called with the uh, what's it called you know rebar because the reason they do it because it, it doesn't crack. That for some reason, the re the otherwise, you notice the sidewalks cracks and everything after a while cracks. Right. They, 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 first, they figure out that with this rebound, it doesn't crack, so it's more. So that's how they do it with the Meister. Okay. You know, it's, I, we said it in five minutes, this whole thing, but I'm telling you, look in the Chuvah Sachrain, what's the Chuvah name? How to build it, how to build it now that we have this. There, there are who made a big fuss, so you shouldn't do it this way. But that's already going with the, against the tour. You understand? Because now we're going again only according to Nodvida and the Kivege. Because other Chreinim hold that the tour, you can't ask the tour, blah, tour, and there's a Teretz on the Gemara, there's a Teretz on, and the Chesuf explains the Sugi and Baba Basra, and the others explain. So it's, it's, it's built on the Chumra, on the Chumra. Because Hilchas Mekvos, we're going to notice that's how it works. Everything is Chumra, Mekvos. I always tell people, if someone would make the mikvah, the shulchan al kharab made, will tell him he's a conservative rabbi. So it's unbelievable coolness he was so much when he meant. Why did they do this? You know, they, 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 because it was freezing cold. The rabbi's mikvah made, I'll, I'll get to it later, it was just freezing cold. If a lady wanted to go to the mikvah, it was mamish mesidus nefesh. Mamish. It wasn't like, you know, Today, woman call me, they're uncomfortable and all of the silly treats. But those days, it was bitter cold. The Rashi's mikveh, I did I explain to you at Rashi's mikveh? They had a stone, they came with a big invention. Mamish, they had a furnace. So before the lady went in, they dropped a boiling stone to the bottom of the thing. So she went in, she didn't freeze to death. You know what I mean? She, uh, well, she stepped on the stone and got uh, No, they, they, they made it away, it was all the way deep. And, uh, it was just not freezing, freezing, freezing. You should know that that's why, I, 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 don't, I don't think I said the story, it's good to hear the story. Then the Ramu, the Ramu went and wrote every minute. Do you know why Drew made every minute? But the Ramu, the Ramu became Rovan and, and Kruka. So he, ca he became Rovan Kruka, and the, the first, the, the, he heard there's a minute. What's the minute? That the the mikvah lady's husband in the morning goes over to all the women went to mikvah walk over say mazel tov you know to do yeah. she would tell him who went to the mikvah so the morning in davening he would go over to the people and say mazel tov mazel tov no. so I'm more than a many I'm more than a many when he became Ruben Kruka he's my boss from the many he was a preacher so people noticed so what did he say to you huh your wife went to the mikvah oh, it was terrible so he's my boss from the many the next day, it was Thursday, and it was a Shiva's Besden, and the guy drags his wife into the, to the, to the what's his name, to Besden, that uh, she didn't go to the mikvah. How do you know she didn't go to the mikvah? He says, because the guy didn't come and tell me Mazel Tov. So I went over to him, and I asked him, did, why did you come tell me? Did my wife, was, I don't know, the, the Rav said I should stop and ask my wife. And, my, and he asked his wife, says, his wife did not go to the mikvah. 
So the Ramu said, he's going to do tshuva, he's going to write all the manhugim, and he's going to, even though there's sometimes manhugim I don't understand, I'll work very hard. And with them. Why do you think this was, they did this? Because it was mamish miseris nefesh, it was freezing cold in the winter. It wasn't the dirt, because that was able to, they were, to have a clean it was so terrible. It was bitter cold. You know, it, it, it cracks. No, 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 no. The Romans speak in that mic was dangerous. You know what it says when you go to Roman bath? Yerutzen. I don't say Yerutzen. I don't say Yerutzen. And the Gemara says many stories. The Gemara says we just had enough Yomi. If you not, don't go to Roman bath for 12 months, because after 12 months you can go. So it was, they used to hear it. It is very dangerous. As builders would tell you, it is incredibly dangerous. And it did fall in, it did break. It wasn't like a. Baruch Hashem, today we have a. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, I was ages didn't use such matzahs. They didn't have such mikvahs, such an esrik. They didn't have the chetsoinius. We outdo all the generations. The panemius, like the like the. Okay, let's just move on. This is this mechab. Now we're talking about taking an alukeach, keili gudel, take a huge, huge keili, kegon chubi is gedoyla, a big uh, barrel, a revi gedoyla. They used to make this in the times of the Shechon They used to make beer and wine. They used to make in humongous keili, you know, vats, but very big ones, that it was more than 40 sous. Even today. They don't make it so big. Yeah, they do. I mean, but they don't make it differently. I was in the, uh, the winery, and I saw they don't have like the, they have the barrels and not these big barrels. And the, you know, when they store the wine, they store it, and then they make the wine. They have this huge metal uh, vats. Vats. But they used to have a keli, huge, huge, huge keli, because you know what Shachanoch talks about. Chachmasodim talks about how do you table that with those keli? It's very big. I don't know if I ever told you that uh, the Tere Samus and Chabad one year, they all got, someone donated popcorn machines for them. You know about the story? So they came, they wanted a table in the mikvah. I, it's as big as this table. I got a table that came in the mikvah. And they were nervous it was going to break. But you do have to table it. The only aids to do the show the place can say to get a woman you saw, a good handyman you saw, take it apart in a way that you have to be an woman to fix it. And then, then it, it becomes non keli and you made it into keli. You understand what I just said? But that uh, doesn't because you're going to keep it. Heter is only temporarily. Then how much Shabbos he telling give it back to you? It's Shabbos you forgot to tell you something. You want to use the keli, but you can't give him this thing because you know it's going to stay with you forever. That's like a joke. That's a real chokhut. What do you do with any of these machines that will, that will, you know, like a, you know, like a, a coffee machine or something? Well, that's a big question. What should you do? So uh, many hold you have to tell you. Well, the is the only one who's makele and he says that since it's electric and it's attached to the wall and the only way it works through electric, he held that's like mechobel lekarke. You don't have to tell you it. But others held you have to tell you I mean, lately people have been showing me these new coffee makers it has a bunch of computers inside. If it gets wet, it could get oh, ruined. Yeah, here we have to have a, an espresso machine. In, in It. No, yeah, if you have these espresso machines, yeah, that you could take off if the coffee's made true, itself. But the machine, if you, you know. No, but that's not a problem. The, but the problem is, it's a, one of the be- simplest ways is to get a woman you saw, to take it apart in a way that a layman cannot put it together, and he should fix it, and then becomes a keli by him. That's the best way. Okay, the uh, kids again. Okay, keli gudla, chuviz gedoyla, oirevi gedoyla. I don't know how say oirevi in English. Oirevi is a milter. A rev is a huge trough, that's what you're saying, Rish. And you just look at a milter, which is uh, where you, you know, when your, mo- your wife uh, bakes the bread, kneads the bread, that's called a rev. A rev gedoyla, he says, V'nokvoy, nekev hametaroi. Now the Mechaber does not say how big the hole should be. The Mechaber relies that you know Mishnah is kalem. And Mishnah is kalem, it depends if it's a kliet, then it's kumot zikazai, it's kumot zikazai, it's kumot all the fashir. The yash omrem, the be'inen, neikev, kumot zikazai, it's 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 k
and uh, it's small and bigger because certain kalim is in kazais. I don't know if you know about it, but the Mashab's mikveh. What size is this? What's this? is this. This is called Shveres Hanoid. Two fingers that you turn. You know, the, 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 the Mashab was the one who said that we have a mikveh, we have a mikveh, we should have the sheer kamoit in the bottom. In the bottom. You ever noticed it's not a tiny hole? It's a big hole. So, you know, no one asked them why, and there's a big mechlekes. Christian, I once saw in his Sefer, Tolushkin, and others, of why you all need Kishvera Sanoit. Why do you need such a big one? Well, it doesn't say that. Some learn, uh, some learn as this Machaber over here, we'll soon see. We'll soon see. But according to Mashab, he held his best thing is to be on the bottom. But if it's on the side? It's also good. So let's go back to the big one in, in, in licks. There's a hole on the side. Hold the side where? The no, it doesn't become Anam Kaili the side. That doesn't help. It has to be in the bottom. It has to be in the bottom. I thought it meant so something sure else. Hold yeah, but yeah, you have to make the hole in the bottom. Don't have a hole in the bottom. It has a drain. Yeah. So aside of the drain problem, but the hole alone is more the cable. Yeah, but it has to be uh, not a drain. A drain is not the bottom of it. Depends, I don't know, you have to find out how they did it. The drain itself is not my bottom. So if the bathtub has a big hole in the bottom, then it's no longer considered a kelly, and then you could tell if a, a, theoretically it's a drain, you said. If it's a drain, it's not. I'm talking about, let's say, if you're building a, a, a mikvah, like they tried to do but it. Right like now, let's learn it. Let's what he says. So he says, Menok for Nekev Amatara, you have a big kelly, let's take a jacuzzi. Someone wants. Um, 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 I was so angry at the, at the guy at Babos once came to me many years ago with his rough encouragement in one of these rebels who come that he should build a mikveh, it's not so hard, and he could use it, and his wife could use it, it's not so hard. He's a, he a very wealthy guy, and the guy, the rebel wanted to get some money. And, uh, but first of all, the Chosa says, don't, you know, shouldn't have a mikveh house. You know, there's a famous Rebidah Chosa. You shouldn't have a mikveh house. But besides the Rebidah Chosa, this thing, we don't know why. But anyways, besides besides all the the chosid, you a, a, a jacuzzi is very complicated. So let's just talk about the jacuzzi. You have a jacuzzi, you want to make it a non keli. So the mechaber says you have to make a hole. Mechaber says if it's, it's uh, everything now, how about a plastic? Jacuzzi is made of fiberglass. Let's say let's say the, the maximum. So the maximum is kumayt zinima. Kumayt zinima. The chay yeshlachmer says the kavi buretz. If it was kavi buretz, a hole. We cover buretz. We say mikveh and raise a kusha. Wait, then it's kusha. <coughs> but there's a hole there, so you want to get fix the hole. The pukak hanekev the sid if a binyan ain't a paisel. It does not because that if if you if, you know after you will, you have this thing you you machab to the karka and you then uh, uh, fix the hole with the uh, sid of any paisel. A mineki a nikveh metoich a mikveh kusha. It's still okay. Sauce from a besid, but if you sauce from a besid, or be gifsis, gifsis is a type of a cement. A dying, he poisons a little mikveh. What? Just like the pocket can't make a besid. It's good. Or be gifsis. No, before I'm saying. Yeah, he says the mechaber, the lushan mechaber is a, a combination of the Torah and the Rambam repeats twice. But all the mechaber saying again, a dying, he poisons a mikveh. At shikveni beuretz. Yeah, I told he makes a kviya beuretz. Oy yivna. So the macha, let me explain. The machabas lushin is not so clear. He he combines it to the lushin of Torah. The Rambam holds that you have a keli. You want to make it to make. You have to do things. You have to make a hole, and then connect it to the ground. And then you can fix the hole, but not a complete good fixing. Fix I'm just saying there has to be shouldn't it be a fixing that normally you fix a hole without material. Has the material that normally you don't fix a hole with that. Uh, that's how the Bishyosif explains the Ramam. So you have a keli, and that's a jacuzzi. If you, uh, so the problem with the jacuzzi, the guy says he thought that the drain of the jacuzzi would be good enough. So that's, that was the problem. You have to make sure there's a hole, there's nothing to do with the drain. You have to have a hole, and then the, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then you, and after it has a hole, you have to machaber also to the karka. You need two things. But all the Akhronim say, Never to make such a mikvah. Even for men? That's for men, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. 
fiberglass, and probably made a hole in the bottom and attached it around. They fixed the hole somehow. Who built the mikvah over there? Who, who's links again? No, it's not built from, from the Natanelli over here. Natanelli. Well, they still own it, actually. They, they run it. Who's Netanyahu? Uh, Persian? Yeah. yeah. He had a school and, and whatever, but Lee Kolel, Rabbi Brander's Kolel, is in that building. So they, they, they just rent the, the, the space. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it used to be a different mikvah, huh? Uh, you say Netanyahu still has a mikvah? Yeah. Yeah, Lee's done uh, from the mikvah. Right. Lee's make sure that it's called one way or the second. Okay. My plug? No. Okay. I'll check on. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Let's move on. So the Mechabas goes on, he says. Anyways, the Ramam Shitta is the Mechaba Paskins, like the Ramam, the Rosh is more makeup. Mechaba Paskins, if you take, take a jacuzzi, you got to make a hole in it, big hole, and then you have to attach it to the ground. You have these two things, then, then you can use it for mikvah. Attach the, the whatever, the, the jacuzzi, good, uh, attach it to the ground. No, attach it. You have to build it into the ground. Rushin or Yivna, you should build it to the ground. The Rushin Rambam is you should build it into the ground. Yeah, put cement, screw it in. I don't know how they ask a builder how they attach it to the ground. Then, Himalicha Gaba Uritz, by Gaba Sid, Imeriah Batid Menat Seduda. He seems like the whole got clogged up by schlepping on the ground. On the Mitsuna said, Hey, also Kusha. Yeah, as long that doesn't make a difference. It also good. As long as you made a hole and uh, well, when you dig the area let's say where you're going to make isn't that like a big hole right so you dig a big hole to make a pool and then in there you make a pool yeah that's not everything is okay the pool is okay the only problem is right now but the pool the way you have right. your pool but first you still but first you made that hole yeah, so yeah. well, so like you don't have cave if you made the hakike in the but you did, yours is okay. You didn't make a chakika. It was cement, you said. And the problem is the drain. Your, the only question, yours, it, it was they poured the cement. You saw it. They poured the cement. So, so pouring cement, we accept, is uh, not a keli. So the only problem with this pool is the drain. It's a serious problem. What's the fix? Well, you can't fix it. That's what you can't do it in the pool. <laughs> Later on, the drain, it's a Mishnah. The Mishnah so Mikula says. What do you say? No, I don't know, I have to look that up how much. Uh, go to the mikvah. You guys don't have a mikvah, men's mikvah here in this neighborhood? No, we're building a lot of men's mikvah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have the weeds. But also early in the morning, if you know, if you're catching a flight or something, the mikvah's uh, not open. Oh, you want to swim? You want to swim? In the city of Spanish. In the cold, <laughs> in Russia. So we did. I'll look it up again, how much we'll make of it. Yeah, the swimming will help. The Kulishna says. Okay. I'll have to see. Maybe. Yeah, but, but a Kaylee, a Kaylee, my second, a Kaylee is not good. Question is, and maybe they held, but this is. Um, for Tvita says it, that's not a problem. Yeah, but it's true. Maim Shuma says in the Mishnah, good for Tvita says it. It does say in the Mishnah. But, but now, but a Kaylee is a problem. I'll look up a little bit later, go to it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on. Um, Amit the last is al gago. This is what you guys asked. You allowed to make a mikvah bagav. But actually, toch keli. Or even achas shachok koy lesov kovoy. The Rambam also says it shouldn't be a stone that you choykik and then you kavei. Made a watching avol chiber avun havol a mikvah keli. So the says clearly, if you build it up in, in Bar Park when they made a mikvah, first mikvah, the first big fancy mikvah after the war, and they made it when I was a teenager. Remember the raised one? It was a big, famous woman's mikveh they built, a beautiful new one. So it was the second floor. So that's not a problem. If you was, if she cement it and you pour the cement, that's then, and it's not a problem. Yeah, but it has to be straight up. 
The yeah. guy wants the fifth floor, there's the apartments at the bottom. Basically, the pool has to have concrete going all the way down to the all ground. down. It has to be sh- connected to the ground. Because it has to be connected because it has to be connected to the ground. Well, this, this is not connected to the ground. I mean, how is this connected, connected to, to the walls of the ground? Uh, it's, so it's, you say that this Mitchell Goldberg had a concrete uh, uh, metal, uh, yes. Like whatever it is, pillar, big thing that went straight down to the ground. There was nothing underneath it. I remember clearly the boilers, we knew where the ladies' boilers were because there was nothing. Uh, you know what I mean? There was two boilers. We had from downstairs the men's huge men's mikvah, and the, the two boilers. There was like uh, we're able to see. That's the logic. I know how people build. I see from the Israelis they build. They think it's all cement. Like in Brazil they build. They build thirty-story buildings. And what? And thirty-story what? And the mikvahs on thirty stories? No, no, no. no. I'm saying why, why wouldn't the? It's not a cave. It's a thing. Yeah, but how? I mean, the same thing. you there pour the cement. 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 You mean you pour the cement? Yeah. For the cement, the whole everything is poured up there. And yeah, first story, right. Rabbi, are you saying that you're saying you don't see a difference between second story or tenth story so long as it's kind of going all the way down? Not all the way down. I don't understand what the white one is all the way down. It's, 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 it's not they should look over the carpet. If they build it up with cement, if they build it up with cement, not the building chairs, they build plaza. They build the real building. They have cement, they have metal, and you're going up one story or the other. building. Yeah, but it's not it's cement going all the way up. Yeah, it depends where the and not the walls. Well, it, the question what you're saying, the Karka doesn't need the whole thing. You want to know, uh, can I build a mikvah on stills? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, but I understand how everything has to be Mechubal Karka. If it's held up by stills, let's say. That's what you're saying. I have a build a mikvah now. Imagine outside I have a mikvah, and, and the mikvah is standing on four, holding up by four stills. Stilts that, that, that ultimately are in the ground. There's stilts in the ground, but the is not in the ground. It's held up by something that's in the ground. It's a Yeah, but no, yeah, it's but again, it's not the Karka. It's it is in the air, hung up by a pole. Let's just uh, let's have such a picture in your mind. That's what you are saying. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll have to look in the uh, look in the. So he says the fifth grade. So what does our law mean? The he says you could build it high up, but it has to be built up stones that high. Yeah, but, is it, but there could be something underneath it. No. Yeah, it does. I'm, I'm not sure. I am not sure. What's, what's he means you could build it straight, because I, when I noticed that for a young teenager to build it, I noticed that's how they build it. The, the, the woman's bar was, you know, the men's bicker was downstairs, the woman's were upstairs, and, and I figured it out, you know, what, what was going on here. I was a... I was always curious, and I figured out how they build it in the middle. But I noticed that you know it's supposed to be a room with the towels, but it didn't make sense. It's too big. And then I happened one day that this is where the bar upstairs is. You understand? It was uh, it didn't, that didn't go all the way down. How much the bar? You know, the person that was very high ceilings in the mikvah. So yeah, maybe it's good. I'll, you have to look in the price and look again how how they describe, describe it. Well, I don't know any place they make. Only know in Hetzel also. One fl- they have a mikvah with the nut, just uh, one flight up. It was in a place where the woman's mikvah was that way. The passion should be mechav the whole thing. So your, your question is, the rabbi wants to know if partial is hanging on stilts. So that's that's going on. Yeah, that's the question. Okay. If, uh, if a plug is connected to the wall, then It's not a shot. No, the Moshe explains. It's not, not, let me explain. Let me let me explain what Moshe is saying about this. It's not. It's not a joke. See, he's explaining a keli. If the keli cannot be used unless they're used with electric, and the electric is mechuba lekarka, then 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 it does need a does need a tefila because a keli means you could use it um, without being attached. A keli means detached. So you use the only way you can use the no, coffee it's maker. Because you can use when it's detached, just you can't get it off when it's detached. Yeah, but it's made to use that way. He, he speaks about it in the Chuvah. Since it's made to use that way, it's not a keli then. Because it's not made only if it's attached to the ground. To, with a car, cord which is attached. That's just chiddush. But I mean, it's, it's different, you understand? It's like a, a keli is something that's movable. 
Hayoyis, this has to be, in all the way to be, is attached to the electric, but it's not movable. He'll agree that you have a, a, a battery. Yeah, he'll agree a battery will be a problem. He says clearly. Brings down the, from the Soma Chroinim would have an interesting deed. See what happens. One of the things in the Mikvus, you know, you could be, you know, you ever watch buildings? You could be in slabs, big slabs, and they, they, build, they build buildings that way too. You ever noticed? You know, they don't they, 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 they deliver these huge prefabs. So the Moshe, many Chroinim have a, a deed in the Ramah. The Lushen Aramo, if you look in the Ramo, is Evat Shetor Kelem, Av Chiber Avun and Harbe, the Mikre Kelem. Why did he say Chiber Avun and Harbe? Why didn't he say even a big slab, a big stone, a big thing? And, and they bring Lushen Agamores, they used to have this. It's not like a new the slab, they bring a Mishnah and Kelem. So there's some make a big fuss, some hold, that's why all Mikvuas, you know, Hilchas Mikvuas, if anyone says a Chumrah, we follow it. You know, Moshe is also medayik. You know, I think they bring down the Masham. Was medayik? It seems that you cannot use slab. And why should it be a problem? Because since kalim are made that way, the Ramu says you shouldn't make a mikveh that way. See, we don't want to make a mikveh that has resemblance of a kalim. People should not make a mistake. You know, I, I, when I was young and I have chalot to till today's day because I had cheshik to take it. One time they brought Shemus into the shul. And there was an old safer printed in the end of the 1800s, the middle of the 1800s. How the people, who, you know, in a lot of uh, light, the light that people came from, beginning from the event of the Derech, you know, the 16th or the 1700s. And so, and there was the, the pamphlet, how to make a mikvah, a lady should be tabled. You know, Mamasha, that everyone could do it. He writes in the safer, many people think you have to spend so much money so the woman don't go to the mikvah, they don't agree, I'm going to make it very simple. And very, he shows a diagram. Whoever made it, I don't know who made it, but uh, when I remember learning the course, I always had that picture. It's, it worked. But he, one of the coolest, he did say, get slabs. You know, in the, in the middle of the 1800s, they have these prefabricants. It's so home learning to make it put on the floor with slabs and put them together and be kosher mikvah. We don't, we don't appreciate that we have a mikvah as an with as elch. Would it be a slab of the problem? It's a slab, it's not. It's, you're not carve anything out. Let's say they're forming something out of it. Yeah, but it's you're not. You're not. It's it's raw material. It's, it's like it's. It says stones. They made it with stones. So why can't you make it with a slab? Stones, yeah. Stones. But I'm just saying the chrina mama die from this. And no, the only explanation to have it's a chumra that we were afraid. This the chrina do say. Many chrina say that you shouldn't make a mikveh with this kalim with up yaloch. It's okay. Because people make a mistake and they'll think you can make a, you know, or, uh, the, the mini was, the mini, I remember, uh, so anyways, I don't know how far by men, but we always don't make a mikvah with these interesante kudas. No choice, no choice, you know. And, uh, okay, zuk dem chava weiter. Mayon, that is a new thing. A mayon shemekalach letoch keili. Ispusel litvo be be mamashim betoch keli la acha shiotzim keli. That means again, uh, you cannot toivel in a keli. Period. So we have a well that the well is flowing and it goes into a keli. You follow the boy said goes into the keli. So Mameli says you can't toivel in the keli, even though it's a continuous flow. You know, you put, you put in a, as the as the, the well is going, you put a keli, and the well goes the, the you know. Can't, it's a keli can't toil. The chiddush is you can't even toil the water outside the keli. Well, What's wrong? Yeah, so it That's something else. The the, the mechaba says you cannot be toil even on the water that left the keli, even though it's not anymore. So everyone asks the shach and taz and all the chayim. Why can't you be toil there? It's out the keli. Just because you went into the keli becomes possible. 
This is a, a, a interesting. So. Yeah. What does that mean? If you have like a river flowing and, and you somehow put some sort of like, I don't know, barrel or something like that, that the water is going through. And then you right, you cannot toy with that going out. He, he brings down from the shach, he wants to say that maybe the reason is, is because uh, the reason that you can't toggle, because if you're going to toggle the outside the thing, the keli, you're going to toggle inside the keli too. The Rabbana made such a that water went uh, inside to the keli. If I'm going to be toggled inside this huge bar of the keli, you can toggle outside, you'll also toggle inside. This means the keli is bigger than 40 so. Yeah, right? yeah, it's talking about the big so, so 40 so. See, we, you know, all these things, it's hard for us to appreciate rightly. You know why? We have enough water. We have enough, enough water. You know, that's not our problem. If you, if you, you, learn, you guys learn the Daf Yomi? Anyone learn, joins the Daf Yomi? So if you, and in Shalmi, you just had a Daf, and the Shalmi says they used to seal the water. People shouldn't take water to the reservoirs. Yeah. Yeah, but they used to seal it. Uh, the people shouldn't steal water from the reservoir in the winter. You know, a house that doesn't have four sinks is not, an, it's not even a house, not even an apartment here in LA. You know what I mean? Uh, so whole, they used to, one of the things they used to do to, you know, uh, take the well, they used to use it. We've seen all the nice. And they used to, in the Basra, when the well was coming to reroute the water, the rivers, you have a right to reroute it. You know, there was all machoikas, you know. Uh, so the kids, uh, so they, the, 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 even though theoretically the water once it left the keli should be good, Machaba says it's a solution of Mishnah. He cannot use the mikvah. The Amai Mikalach al Svas Hakeli on the Svas Ilatoch Ilatochoi is Toch Hakeli Uselitvoi the Chitzel Emitter outside the water emitter. The Filim Amayin should be Toch Meruba. A big, 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 big cool that Machaba is saying. Also, everyone wants to know why. You understand what Machaba is saying? You have the, the well water coming. It goes into the Keli. You know, imagine you have a big, like uh, the, uh, the lynx make, forgot a big, Kaylee. The water goes in, so that is no good. But there's also water going the side. And after the Kaylee, it, it mixes. So Machaba says, it's a Lushna Mishnah, you could, you tell you the mikvah. I once went to the Kaylee, it's no good. Someone will learn, I forgot, the, the Taz wants to learn, since he went to the Kaylee, it becomes Shuvim. Even though it's connected to the mime and it still goes out, it goes into the keli, it becomes shuvim. So the Taz asks on himself, uh, you know, if it's shuvim, we learn we have to go with seroiv. Remember, we learned that um, if roiv, so how could the mechaber say over here that it's okay? The Taz has a big chiddush. Taz is mechadish that by mayon it is a shuka helps. You know what that means, Rabbi Yisrael? Let me explain what the that, that a very long this. We're gonna learn later. We're going to learn later. If I have a mikveh, rainwater, and next to it we have uh, um, um, the rotten city water, you make our sugar, and the sugar makes it okay. That's called, you know, the famous sugar, the water kisses, and it makes it good. So the task says that's shot over here too. The well water that went the side of the keli, since a well water doesn't need a sheet, it's like it has a sheet for it, so it touches this water, once it leaves the keli, it made our sugar, makes it good. You understand the lambdas? You follow, you follow what he's saying? You know what a shukka means, right? I have city water and over here. How does the city water become kosher? I'm sorry, not uh, city water. Because there's in between there's a shukka. It kisses it and makes it okay. So the Taz learns when the water comes from the well, goes into this tub. And there's water going on the side. And after the tub... Taz arguing on, on the Mechaber? You know, explaining. Mechaber says that if the water goes on the side of the tub... And even though the meat up is now outside the tub, so there's water going into the tub out, and there's water running in the side too, because the, the well was, was bigger. And after the, after the tub, you could be toiling in that water. I, most of the water is from the tub, but just like Hashukah works from mikvah to mikvah, from one standing water, and this is running water, a mine, there's no sheet for mine. So you don't need a sheet. So this running water here touches this water. This is the sugar makes it good. Even in the cave, it should have been good. 
But in a keli, you can't do even in a keli. Yeah, but you can't do even in a keli. Keli doesn't help nothing. Even with a shuk. Even a shuk, a keli, you cannot do even as a dreisa. That is very important. Later we're going to learn, Chazal made it that even in the mikveh itself, you should not be supposed to stand on a keli. Right. Make all these gzaydas to remember you cannot toivel in a keli. This is very important. This is important because always people, and okay. once in a while people ask me, go on vacation, and the big problem is now they need a mikveh. Uh, happened a few times. And, uh, it always happens to the rich people. They have the chutzpah to call up. and uh, So this guy went to Hawaii, and he rented a house $3,000 a day. A day. So you have to have a little money for that, and uh, just a little. And then he calls me up, you know, my wife has to go to the mikvah. So he said, I don't understand, why did you go on this time? You can go whenever you want. So one of the things, what is the problem? You go into the, into the, into the ocean, and it gets into your toes. So you have to have a keli underneath. But you're not even on a keli. You know, we have, a, so you have to get something, it's not called a keli. So we gotta get a, a, a plastic thing, which is not, and Katie, we we'll get, let get to it later. What? What if she's floating? Like she lifts her legs? Yeah, but how do you know for sure there's nothing in her toes? Go on and jump. 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 But uh, she has to have, uh, you know, loose clothing on her and uh, a lot of problems. Can't go by day. So he found the deserted place. We parked his car, put on the headlights. Oh, it's going like it. <laughs> I, I, I will tell you more, more than the story. I had a guy who lived, in, and lived I don't know, uh, up at the coast. I forgot. To, uh, and there was no mikvah. And you know, there normally they drive. And he was young. He wanted, like, wanted to go to the mikvah. But she was afraid. So he went with her. The, uh, first he calls me up. Her, her, they have a neighbor, a lifeguard, a female lifeguard. So, she, yeah, is she from? She's not from, she's not from, she's Jewish, you're not from, you need our medicine, you need someone to make sure they're here. So, uh, so he, uh, what happened was, the, li the female life got went with her, but they needed another from lady to go to, to make sure, and then the two la three ladies didn't want to go alone, so the husband, so went, the along. husband went along. <laughs> uh, I'm Tomas. But everyone had to know that this is, a, it's, not, uh, it's, it's not appropriate, they don't do that, you know. Okay, anyway, so the, 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 uh, coming back, you're not a toivel in a keli. That's a, that's a very important talucha. That no matter what Chazal said, the rabbi was asking, so, you know, the, uh, uh, the well water is coming to keli. If it's a keli, nothing helps. That's the cloud. In the keli, nothing helps. That's a deraisa. Everyone agrees to that. Even the Rishon, hold my shoe was only the Rabbana, but in the keli, there's nothing to talk about. Let me just go on. So he says, did I finish? Yeah. Look how the new sugi starts and whole new thing. Okay, let's let me introduce the next halacha. You know, this halacha, the next halacha. Well, I'll just start a little bit. The boy said the next halacha is you know when you toil kalem a lot of kalem. You know, you know again. Let me be magdam. Shiferes hanoid, which is not much. You'll notice that all the mikvus, you don't make it any more shveres anoid. You make it much, much bigger. You know, they make it at, uh, a fist. What's the translation, shveres anoid? Shveres is a stopper of anoid. Anoid is a, a barrel. A bar anoid is a, a flask. And the, the shveres anoid was the, in, where the water came out. So the Gemara says, if you take two fingers, you, you circle it loosely, that's the shveres shveres anoid. If you go in the mikvah, you notice it's not shifer sanoi, it's as big as a fist, we machman. That chumr comes because we hold maybe some, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to it later, I'll explain the chumr. But let me explain over here. If, you t if, if a guy has kalim, and he wants to toggle kalim in the mikvah, and he puts a keli into a keli, is he toggle a keli in a keli? Remember, I just said, you cannot be in a keli with toggle. But if I have, I, I, I want to toggle kalim, I take a pot, I want to table a pot, and I want to put uh, silverware in it. I put it inside the water. Yes. So we have yeah. a hole. I put in the thing that has a lot of holes. But you don't need that. But ikra locha is that we're going to learn later. If you go into a, into a keli, but the keli has holes, 
So then inside the mikvah, you toivel, and has a hole in it, it's like you toivel in the mikvah. It means if you go inside a mikvah, not you toivel. What if it's a pot that you're toiveling, but it doesn't have holes in it? It's yes, so that's what we're going to learn now. If you have a pot that has an opening, so the, the reason it helps, even though it's a keli, miga, it helps the tefillah for itself, it helps the tefillah for the dishes of uh, uh, a big, a big Mika makes a deraisa. So the Rishonim say it only works if they have tefillah ibn Atoira. If you have a glass, glass you only have to toy with the bottom. And you toy a glass and you put into the glass. Uh, and, and you don't say a Mika from a Dirbanam and deraisa. Right. You follow? Okay. Uh-huh. You understood? Yeah. yeah you you understood? put a fork inside a glass bowl. Right, you put a fork in a glass bowl. So you can't say Mika, it helps for the glass because that's only with the If it's a metalist deraisa, that's what we could say.